Hey everyone, today we're going to be making this adorable crochet sushi. Let's get started. The materials that you'll need are cream yarn for the rice, orange or red yarn for either salmon or tuna, black yarn for the seaweed, a hot glue gun, a darning needle, 5mm hook, 3.5mm hook, scissors, and 5mm eyes. So starting with the white yarn, we're going to make a magic loop and we're going to cross the yarn over, put your hook through the loop, bring the yarn to the front, yarn over, and pull. You know you did this right if you pull the small piece of yarn and the hole starts to close. Now we're going to make six single crochets. You're going to go in, yarn over, and pull through, then yarn over again and pull through both loops. Again, you're going to go through the loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over again and pull through both loops. Pull the loop close and this is what it should look like. Now we're going to start crocheting in the round so I'm attaching my stitch marker and we're going to increase by doing two single crochet in each stitch. So I'm going to go into the first stitch, yarn over, pull through, pull through both loops and we're going to go into the same exact stitch, yarn over, pull through and yarn over, pull through both loops. Now you're going to start at the next stitch and do two single crochets in there and you're going to do this all the way around until you get 12 stitches. So in this round we're going to be doing a single crochet and then increasing in the next and we're going to do the six times. So we're going to start off by doing a single crochet in the first stitch. So that's our first stitch. And then we're going to increase in the next stitch. So we're going to do two single crochets in this stitch. So that's one and that's two. And now we're going to repeat this. Do one single crochet in the next stitch and then increase and do two single crochets in this stitch. So that's one and that's two. And you're going to do this all the way around. Now in this round, we're going to be doing two single crochets and then increasing. So we're going to start off with our first single crochet, our second single crochet in the next stitch and then increasing and doing two single crochets in the same stitch. We're going to do that six times and then your stitch count should be 24 at the very end. Now we're going to just be crocheting in the round. So we're going to be doing one single crochet all the way around. After you're done with this round, you're going to stop and make the face. So using a black yarn threaded through a darning needle, we're going to make the mouth. And you can space this out however you want, but I put three rows in between the mouth. After you get the desired shape, we're going to attach the eyes. So I spaced it out one row away from the mouth. And once you get the desired look, you're going to flip it all over and secure the mouth by double knotting it. And then I use hot glue to secure the back of the eyes. Then you want to single crochet for nine more rounds and then this is what it looks like. Now we're going to start decreasing. So we're going to do one single crochet, two single crochet, and then we're going to lift the front loops of two stitches, going through the first front loop and then going through the second front loop. Now we have three loops on our hook. Now we're going to yarn over, pull through two of them, and then we're going to yarn over again and then pull through the next two. Again, we're going to make one single crochet and then in the next stitch, another single crochet. And then pull the front two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over again and pull through both loops. Keep repeating until you reach the end of the round. Once you're done, you're going to fill the body with polyfill to your desired stiffness. Now we're going to do another row of decrease. So we're going to do one single crochet, pick up the two front loops of the next two stitches, 
yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through again. And you're going to repeat this six times. This is our last row of decreases, so we're going to pick up the two front loops of the next two stitches, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through again. We're going to repeat this five more times until we get to the end. Once we finish that round, we're going to cut a long tail and we're going to pull it through and now we're going to close the end. So you're going to thread your yarn through your darning needle and you're going to go in the front loops of each of the six stitches. So here we're going one, two, three, and you're gonna do this all the way around. Now once you've finished doing that, you're going to pull the tail tight until the end closes. And then you're going to weave in the ends. And I knotted it to secure it super tight. And then you're just going to hide the tail. Now this is the finished product for the rice part. It's time for the sashimi portion of the sushi. So we're going to make a loop. We're going to put our hook through and pull to make a slip knot. And now we're going to start chaining. So you're going to yarn over and pull through the existing loop. Yarn over, pull through the loop, yarn over, pull through the loop, and you're going to do this again and again until you get the length of the rice. So you're going to get your rice and you're going to measure it against, and here I made it too long, so I had to undo a couple. So once you get your desired length, you're going to do one more chain, and we're going to start doing half double crochets. You're going to start off by yarning over and inserting your hook in the second chain yarn over and then you have three loops and you're going to yarn over and pull through all three and you're going to repeat this all the way down so you're going to yarn over insert your hook pull through and then you're going to yarn over and pull through all three now once you reach the end of the row this is what it's going to look like and you're going to insert your hook and we're going to chain one and then we're going to flip our work and we're going to do the same thing half double crochet all the way down so we're going to yarn over insert your hook into the stitch make sure to get both loops this time pull through yarn over and pull through all three Once you complete this row, you're going to chain one, flip your work, and do half double crochets all the way across. And you're going to do this until you get the height that you want. Here is my completed tuna. Now I'm going to snip the end and fasten off. Using the darning needle, you're going to hide the ends. Here's what it should look like in the end. Now it's time to make the seaweed, and I'm going to use a 3.5 millimeter hook. We're going to make a slip knot by looping it, putting our hook through the loop, and yarning over and pulling tight. Now we're going to start chaining just like we did with the sashimi, but instead we're going to be measuring the circumference of the sushi. After chaining a long line, you're going to bring in the sushi, and you're going to wrap the black chain around the sushi, making sure it fits snugly. Once you get your desired length, you're going to connect the two ends by inserting your hook in the first chain and making a single crochet. And then you're going to single crochet all the way around for two rounds. Once you finish, this should be about the thickness of your seaweed. Now you're going to snip a long tail, fasten off, and hide the ends. If you're making salmon instead, you're going to repeat the same steps that I did with the tuna, and now we're going to add the details. 
So you're going to snip off a piece of the cream yarn or the yarn that you use for the rice. And you're going to use your darning needle to create three lines across your salmon. So one in the top, one in the middle, and one in the bottom. And then secure with a knot. So now it's assembly time. We're gonna start off with the rice, put our tuna on top, and then get our seaweed band and shimmy it onto the middle. You could secure it with hot glue or fabric glue if you want. Now assembling the salmon sushi, we're going to start off with the rice and the salmon, and I'm going to hot glue this one, and this is what it's gonna look like after. And this is the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and see you next time. Bye.